Good morning, YouTube. It is 4.04. It is Thursday. Today's topic is uh, slowing down light because light is just way too fast. Way too early for that Higgs chromosome space, the electrons like the magnetism all particles and momentum of receptors radiation are mathematics a solution asteroid what am i doing up <laughs> um okay so scientists tinkering with light some more uh because it's they always tinker they're always playing with light um in the past we've been able to slow down light you know like through water or through glass. <sighs> but once they exit those mediums, you know, light returns back to back to to speed of light. Well, lately, another first time ever type of thing, um, they've been able to take light either in air or vacuum, pass it through this mask. They're calling it a mass, and it's always in quotes, so. And by passing it through this mask, it slows down light permanently. It, you know, the light doesn't go back to its normal speed. It, after, it's not exiting anything, so. Um, this is kind of fun. Uh, so they, um, they set up this rig um, to have... To, you know, they have light that's that's uh, unaltered going at its normal speed of light. And then they have one side that has this mask thing. They call it a mask. It's, you know, it, it's kind of like a device, actually. Um, and by getting altered by this device, it, you know light is slowed down so they have the they have the two going and and the, you can see uh one going at normal speed one going at reduced speed after exiting this device um the device is computer controlled what are they doing they're altering they say they're altering the light waves wave pattern but they're also utilizing light's ability to jump between a wave and a particle in that alteration um, and that's what reduces the speed. And so we're playing with, with the structure of light and, you know, the, they're doing it on a photon by photon basis. They're not dealing with the whole beam anymore. And they said if, if, if they, you know, by dealing with, a, uh, with an individual photon, they can alter it a lot easier. So, um, they have a picture. I don't know if it's an actual picture of the experiment set up or if it's just like a you know one of those concept pictures artist rendition of what's going on but you know they have the two going um uh unimpeded light and and light after alteration and, and you can see the the structure of this light is off it looks funny it looks like it's been uh messed with or whatever so um and you know it's not like it's not like a an accelerator that's like miles and miles and miles this is this track is sort of like I think it's like three feet maybe it's yeah three feet so it's not very far um, you know light light covering three feet is like that so you know the change in the speed of light is like that <laughs> uh, but you know they say that their their tests aren't messed up um, they're using sound, uh, qualities of light that are unambiguous or whatever the case. Um, I, I imagine there's going to be a lot of, a lot of scientists coming back and saying, look, you, you must have done something wrong. Um, but we'll let that happen when it happens over time. So slowing down light, uh, fun times, um, implications for this, uh, well, you know, so, I, you know, I don't know. <laughs> um, I would imagine that you would want uh, light traveling at its normal speed. 
I can't think of any reason why to slow it down. I'm sure there are reasons. I just I haven't come up with any. So, but it, it's fun to know that we can manipulate light um, and not just you know slow it down while it's in something and then it it speeds up. You know, it goes back to normal after it exits. That it, this is a permanent change. So, messing with the structure of light. Okay, I gotta go get to work. You gotta go do whatever it is you do. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you for watching another episode of Way Too Early for Explanations. If you enjoyed it, please click on the like button down here. If you want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, I'll post links at the bottom of the description field. If you want to subscribe to my channel, you can do so by clicking on the subscribe button around here. If you want to get to my channel to see more videos, you can click on the link to Way Too Early for Explanations, or you can click on the eye chart that shows up in the upper right hand corner. Every morning I try to kick out more videos, um, so stay tuned and come on back if you want to observe more early morning technobabble. Thanks again.